I'm Ryan Giese here with Mike Clendenin at, well, you probably don't recognize it, Jury Pool. It's going to be open this summer, Mike? We hope mid-June. That's the target date right All now. All the rain probably isn't helping. No, but they're getting there. They've got a lot of things to wrap up inside the buildings they can get done. So, yeah, it's moving along. So, uh, how much, you know, it already looks way bigger outside than it did before. How much bigger is this actually going to be than the old Jury Pool? Well, the pool, it's going to be almost well, not quite double in size, probably a third again. We're going with uh, two pools now. Jury pool was just a competition pool. Now we have a competition and a leisure pool. Oh, really? And the leisure pool is the larger side. We'll see it when we get inside there, what it looks like. But the building, what you're looking at, here's the entrance, what people will come into, the entrance desk. And on our right-hand side is the uh, locker rooms. They're much larger. The old jury pool had a capacity of about 450. This is 850. So oh, we're so, double in yeah. size. So that means more bathrooms, more showers, all those things are all dictated by Board of, board of Health and uh, pool code. So they have to be bigger. What's down at the end is maybe some of you remember the old craft shed. Oh, yeah. There. Well, now it's the big craft shed. That awning over there, that's where uh, picnic tables will be set up and kids can do crafts. Uh, inside the uh, building will be the craft shed, and then behind the craft shed will be a large storage room that we'll go look at. And that storage room, we're going to have 250 deck chairs, 50 other chairs, tables, things that have to be put away in the wintertime. Yeah. So we thought, let's have a nice storage room, and then in the summertime, we'll rent it out. Very convenient, very convenient. I haven't even been inside yet, and it looks immaculate. I can't wait for this summer. When I want to go swimming here this summer, though, is it going to be more than what it caught, used to cost? Yeah, the, before we closed it, uh, the, or the basic pool like Meadowbrook is $2 to get in. This is going to be $3.50 for children and $4.50 for adults. A little more, but still less than what it costs to go to a movie that lasts a oh, few yeah. hours. You can come here all day and swim, so we'll show you what it looks like inside. All right, let's go inside then. Inside the locker room, we got two family changing rooms. They're more popular where if you want to change uh, with the whole family, instead of, you got a young child, boy and a girl, they don't want to go into the locker room separately, got these family changing rooms. So those are new additions. And inside here, this will be the, the boys locker room, changing area. See it's still under construction. It's huge to compare to what it used to be. Well, and again, there was, those back there, those are the shower stalls. New shower stalls, and uh, again, this is all dictated by the capacity in the pool. So the more people you allow in, the more uh, you need this area. So this is uh, people thought some when we were building this, we were building it too big, but it's all based on trying to generate revenue and making it big enough uh, for the people we hope to come here every day. We can go outside and show you what that looks all like. All right, let's cool. go. All right, Mike, where are we looking at right here? This is the competition pool, Ryan. Uh, the previous jury pool was basically a competition pool. Uh, it had a high dive and a low dive. This one's only going to have a low dive. This is about 3,400 square feet, which is uh, about half, half the size of the uh, previous jury pool. But the, the main focus on this is we're going to have a couple lap lanes that uh, people can swim laps whenever they want for exercise. Uh, of course, deep enough that we'll be able to do the deep water life-saving, that kind of instruction. Uh, swim team can use it, that type of thing. Then over here is your leisure pool. Now this is about 6,000 square feet. This is what they consider is really going to generate the revenue. People are going to want to come and hang out and spend all day around this pool. I know I'm going to want to. As you can see, there's a water slide. The previous single slide was 10 feet tall. This one's 15 feet. It's two tubes. And uh, you see it's very colorful. Like the one tube is 102 feet. That's the open flume, they call it the green one. And the uh, closed one's 95 feet. Uh, it'll drop into four foot of water. You can see over here is zero entry. This is zero entry where they can walk into the pool. Uh, over here, that ledge is what they call a cold spa. Those will actually be someone you can sit there and Maybe watch the kids swim and there'll be cold water jets will be uh, coming on that then. Over there is a current channel. That means the outside there'll be water flowing and uh, be kind of resistance that uh, you can walk or swim against the resistance for a little bit of a workout. And then in between there, just the idea that water swirling on the outside will cause what they call a vortex. So that'll be spinning kids around. So. That's neat. Depending on how much we crank the pump up, it could really spin them around. So we're <laughs> going to find that out. And then with these gentlemen working now, 
that railing they're putting up, there's an integrated play structure that'll go in that area. Uh, basically a jungle gym for water. That's what that's about. It's got a little slide, climb on, and a splash you. And then back over there where those gentlemen working is a splash pad. I uh, have a tipping bucket. We can get a picture of that. That's out in the parking lot yet to go up. So, uh, and there you can see the, uh, the back side of the storage room, which will also be the party rental room uh, when the pool's open. And then over here is the, the pump house. We got we had one, one big pump in the old pool. There's nine pumps in this one. Be between the two pools, we're circulating pumps, along with each of these features. The slides have their own pumps, plus uh, for the uh, water features, they each have a pump. So it's uh, it's, it's going to be exciting. Definitely an upgrade. Definitely an is. upgrade. So uh, we got the two pools. Are there going to be more summer activities here at Jury Pool than we've seen before? Yeah, I think we're going to try to have different events going on. Uh, we'll have people come in. We'll have a concession stand uh, this year. Uh, we'll keep that open and hopefully during swim lessons people can come and uh, use a concession stand. That type of thing, watch the kids take lessons. So, and we'll try to plan other events through the summer. You can see the pavilion that's going to be able to be rented. It's going to be very close to the pool now. Obviously there'll be a fence between them. But, uh, no, it's, uh, but we think it's coming together quite nicely. Do you guys have an anticipated open date yet? An estimate or anything? Well, the opening estimate right now is June 13th. June We've 13th. been saying June 3rd, or the mid-June, so that, that's what we're shooting for, June 13th. But just depends on how the next few weeks come together. You can see there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of guys working, trying to pull things together. And if you want, I can take you inside and show you where the uh, uh, lifeguard rooms are at All and right. the uh, concession stand and get some shot of that. Whenever you're ready, this is the admissions area. Actually, have a window when the pool's not open that enter into the park, and then these two windows here. You come in and want to pay uh, for your daily admission, you'll do that right here. Sign up for a membership, you'll do that right there with family memberships, or book a party. That'll be all done in this office. And then the desk out there, if you have a family membership, that's a check in, so I kind of streamline the process. You just show them your card, and uh, they'll scan you in. Right behind it, next to this, this is the head guard's room. This is where they'll have a uh, the head guard, there'll be uh, this pool because of liability issues and quite frankly vandalism, there'll be cameras all over the park this year. So they'll be uh, stationed in here, there'll be the monitors and the thing with the head guards. You see you got a vision of the pool. And then the, next to this is uh, the guard room. There's, you got a first aid room over there. This will be the guard room. The guards, they have to do a rotation. They can only be on the deck so much, so much time, and they have to rotate out. And have to, so we have a break room for them, plus they'll use this for training. Uh, they have their own bathroom, but pretty much what this is all set up for. All much well needed. Yep. Here's a concession stand. We feel this is an important component. People come here and want them to stay all day. They're going to want their soft drinks. They're going to be dairy free, hungry. hot dog, nachos. That's all here, popcorn. So we're pretty excited. We've got three windows, expecting big crowds that go into the pool area, and then also one for the park. So if the pool's not open, we can run this concession stand for, say, if there's a tennis tournament or something else going on in the park. So I think that's pretty Very exciting. Convenient. Storage in there. So they're getting cabinets put in, countertops, all coming together. Very nice. It's all very nice. This is. This controls the splash pad. This is actually computer controlled. You can see all the valves, all the different spray features. There's actually a monitor and computer behind there to, to uh, uh, control all those features, how much, when they splash, that kind of thing, all the spray features. And that's what the guys are working on in that area with all these different features. It'll be a lot of fun. These... Over here we've got, having more pool, we have three pool heaters. The previous pool just had one, there's three. One for the competition, two for the leisure pool. And then behind us here, you can see all the, these big blue tanks. Those are actually sand filters. Valves that back floss them. But each one of those, uh, will, all the water goes through there and gets filtered. Then you can see all our pumps. They're anywhere from five horsepower up to 25 horsepower. Some really big pumps to move all the water. You can see the kind of piping they use so they'll be, uh, and we have some on the larger pumps, we have electronic controls that will throttle them down at night so they'll save energy, try to save money in the long run. So we're excited about it, but it's, uh, you start to realize 
how these things cost so much money when you start yeah, seeing this kind I of stuff here. I've never been this in depth, <laughs> yeah, but it really uh, is. It's, uh, they just look expensive. And chemical controllers. Each one of these pumps has its own control panel. Let you know when they're running, operational, and emergency shutoffs. So again, you can see it starts adding up when you <laughs> yeah. put this kind of stuff in. So, But uh, that's what it takes to have a successful aquatic operation. So we're excited to get it up and running. These are uh, part of the gutter system where the water will flow off the deck and back in and get circulated in the pool. Uh, those two planter boxes in between those are what they call a huge surge tank. Like when you get a bunch of people jumping in, the water shoots out, so it goes to those surge tanks, then comes back in and slowly lets the water back in so you don't bounce people out. So <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun. We're going to have about 10 umbrellas. Five of them will be 20 footers, five of them will be 12 footers. Very colorful. And that way, not only provides plenty of sun, but also plenty of shade. Trying to be conscientious of the uh, sun and not as healthy for everybody to be in the sun all day long, so that's what we're looking for. All right, Mike, that looked pretty in depth in there. How many people is it going to take to employ an establishment like this? Because well, it's much bigger. Yeah, it is, and when you add the concession stand, the admissions, along with the guards, you could be looking at 50 summer jobs for uh, local teenagers, so I think that's important. Yeah, that's uh, a lot, mostly probably being from the New Haven area, too. Sure. You can see behind us, there's a tipping bucket that uh, is also a very popular attraction. It fills up with water and every so often that big bucket tips over and splashes, falls on the kids' heads and they just love it. So yeah. it's an important component. And again, these are the kind of amenities. Uh, I know this was uh, quite the debated project, but we knew we needed features like this that would get people to come and come often and stay long. So that's what it takes. It's all about having an amenity that will generate revenue that people want to be uh, uh, come and be part of and uh, something great for the community so we're excited and i appreciate definitely. you guys taking the time to come out and see it get a little preliminary preview yeah um i'd like to thank you very much mike oh. clendon and ryan geezy new haven bulletin thanks guys.